It doesn't matter whether it's the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, or Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro. Many monuments are known far beyond the borders of their home countries. But did you know that some of these world-famous buildings are shrouded in exciting secrets that only very few know? Have you always wanted to know what the hidden chamber behind the president's heads of Mount Rushmore is all about? Or which secret vaults slumber under the Brooklyn Bridge? Then stay tuned and join us in taking a look at 10 secrets hidden in well-known monuments, structures, and memorials. Mount Rushmore. Since 1941, the stone heads of U.S. Presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln have adorned a nearly 1,750-meter-high mountain in North Dakota. The plans for this impressive sculpture were first suggested in 1923 by a South Dakota state historian who actually wanted to carve the faces of Native American leaders and famous Wild West personalities in the rock. However, when sculptor Gutzon Borglum was hired to design and execute the project. He proposed to use figures who represented the first 150 years of United States history. Washington symbolizes the country's founding. Jefferson represents its expansion. Lincoln stands for the nation's preservation through civil war. And Roosevelt represents the U.S.'s development into a global power. The original goal of attracting more tourists to the region was undoubtedly achieved with the construction of the memorial. Today, the Mount Rushmore National Memorial is one of the most famous buildings in the USA and is also known far beyond the borders of the country. If those responsible hadn't run out of money back then, today we wouldn't just see the heads, but the entire upper bodies of the former US presidents. What not many people know is that behind the faces of Lincoln and company, there is a hidden room, the so-called Hall of Records. The original plans called for some of the most important artifacts in US history to be housed there. An impressive six meter high entrance gate and an imposing bronze eagle should provide that certain visual something. With the death of the construction manager and the entry of the United States into World War II, however, all further work on the approximately 30 by 24 meter chamber was to be stopped. So it took until 1998 before the plans at that time were picked up again. Today, the Hall of Records houses a wooden chest, which in turn was housed in a titanium safe. The problem? Today's visitors are not able to take a look at the documents stored inside. If you like, it is a kind of time capsule that may only be opened in a few millennia. The currently hidden information should provide people in the distant future with information about the background of the Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Eiffel Tower Built for the 1889 World's Fair, the Eiffel Tower in Paris is still one of France's most famous landmarks and indeed, recognized throughout the world at large. The Iron Framework Tower owes its name to its builder, Gustav Eiffel. With an original height of 312 meters, it was the tallest building on the planet for 41 years until the completion of the Chrysler Building. Nowadays, the Eiffel Tower not only functions as a tourist magnet, but as a television tower. It is the most important broadcasting facility around Paris. Now here's what may be unknown to many. There is a small apartment on the top floor of this impressive building. This living area once served as Gustav Eiffel's private retreat. At that time, however, the engineer only granted access to his small study high above the city to a hand-picked circle, such as the world-famous inventor Thomas Edison. Although at that time, countless people asked to be allowed to enter the unique apartment themselves, Eiffel rejected every offer of money, no matter how high. At first, the room, equipped with fine furniture, a small lab, and a piano, was forgotten for a long time. It took until 2015 before the apartment was extensively restored and equipped with lifelike wax figures. However, it's still not possible for visitors to book the premises for an overnight stay. Could you even imagine how much that would cost on Airbnb? Christ the Redeemer When we think of Rio de Janeiro, Images of hardened beach bodies, dazzling carnival celebrations, and of course, the monumental Christ the Redeemer statue on Mount Corcovado immediately spring to mind. The approximately 30-meter-high savior, with his arms outstretched, attracts thousands of visitors from all over the world every year. But did you know that the world-famous Cristo Redentor is hollow on the inside? 
However, if you were hoping to be able to slip into the interior of the imposing statue yourself, we have to disappoint you. Access is reserved exclusively for maintenance staff. In order to be able to carry out all necessary repairs, the interior of the monument is protected by a reinforced concrete framework, a staircase with several landings, and a horizontal inspection corridor. In fact, the colossal figure even has hatches on his head and shoulders, allowing workers to access the outside of the structure if necessary. These precautions have actually proven to be quite useful because the statue is often damaged by storms. For instance, in January 2014, the statue lost part of the tip of its right middle finger to a lightning strike. The damage was easily repaired by specialists though, and they even installed a new lightning rod on top of the statue. Even more shockingly, in April 2010, the statue was graffitied by unknown perpetrators for the first time in its 80 years of existence. Thanks to easy access with the statue's hollow interior, workers were able to access and remove the graffiti quickly. And lastly, even though the COVID-19 pandemic had lots of downsides, the public ban around the statue allowed workers to carry out extensive renovations for the statue's 90th anniversary. Supreme Court Every day, the staff of the United States Supreme Court are confronted with equally exciting and demanding tasks. Cases that concern the Constitution, federal law, or the government are dealt with here and baskets are thrown. Wait, what? Yeah, you heard right. In fact, there is a basketball court in the headquarters of the Supreme Court building in Washington, D.C. Originally, part of the premises of one of the most important institutions of the American legal system was used as storage space. Over time, however, the dusty documents were exchanged for basketball hoops. Thanks to everything going on the cloud these days, in fact, there have already been cases where the merry basketball hunt on the fifth floor was so loud that the noise disturbed the court hearing on the floor below. As a result, the judges had to send a bailiff upstairs to warn recreational basketball players to be more quiet. Lincoln Memorial 36 magnificent columns, an imposing statue of ex-president Abraham Lincoln, and a small but fine spelling mistake. The Lincoln Memorial really has some eye-catchers to offer. The inscription that adorns the north wall of the building shows once again that we humans tend to make mistakes. In detail, this is the second inaugural speech of the statesman. The paragraph in which the error devil crept in should have read, with high hope for the future, no prediction in regard to it is ventured. However, the word future became Euchre. Historians believe the artist, Ernest C. Berstow, accidentally grabbed an E stencil instead of an F. Since then, the extra line was filled in, but you can still see the mistake if you look closely. Statue of Liberty For many tourists, stepping atop the Statue of Liberty crowns their trip to New York. The prestigious monument has adorned Liberty Island off the southern tip of Manhattan since 1886. But did you know that visitors of the French gift to the USA used to be allowed to climb even higher? In the past, visitors were able to climb up to the torch in Lady Liberty's right hand. However, on July 30th, 1916, German saboteurs carried out a bomb attack on the island, in which around 1,000 tons of ammunition exploded. The attack killed seven people and damaged the Statue of Liberty's torch arm for reasons of general safety, the ascent to the torch was then blocked and has not been released again to this day. Police Box When we ask you about the most famous sites in London, which buildings do you think of? The Tower Bridge, Buckingham Palace, or is it the Tower of London? Next time you're in England's capital, we advise you to keep your eyes open for what is probably the smallest police station in the world. In fact, there is a tiny but exciting attraction on the southeastern part of Trafalgar Square that most tourists simply overlook. This is the Police Box, a tiny police station that was built in 1926. With its small size, the building offered just enough space for one officer who took on the task of monitoring the goings-on in the busy square. If one of the demonstrations, which were often held in Trafalgar Square, got out of hand, the policeman in the box could pick up the phone and call for reinforcements. Brooklyn Bridge When the Brooklyn Bridge was completed in 1883, 
It boasted the title of the longest suspension bridge in the world, and today it still serves as an important traffic artery on which thousands of people commute back and forth between the New York boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn every day. But did you know that there is a now abandoned wine cellar under the bridge? The most precious drafts were once stored up to the ceiling of this subterranean vault. But how is it that alcoholic beverages were stored under the Brooklyn Bridge of all places? Well, that had to do above all with the enormous construction costs. To recoup part of the $15 million project, engineer John Roebling constructed leasable spaces at both ends of the bridge, bearing in mind that the premises were extremely dark and cool. We can understand why Racky's Wine and Lutis and Company decided to lease the vaults. Today, however, the chambers located in the moorings on either side of the bridge are no longer accessible. Club 33 at Disneyland in Anaheim, California, there is at first glance a rather inconspicuous door, which in fact grants access to an extremely illustrious world, the mysterious Club 33. However, anyone who thinks that they can simply walk through this exciting gate has made a mistake. Those wishing to join the exquisite club must pay an annual fee of up to $27,000, in addition to a registration fee of up to $90,000. Added to this, is the extremely long waiting time for admission, which is said to last up to 14 years. Once you have become a member, Club 33 offers a luxurious bar and a first-class restaurant. In addition, Club 33, which incidentally was founded by none other than Walt Disney himself, is the only place in Disneyland where alcohol is served. It's rumored that some global stars such as Christina Aguilera, Tom Hanks, and Elton John are members of the club. Empire State Building is there anything more impressive than viewing the New York skyline from the 102nd floor of the Empire State Building? The answer is yes, because what many do not know is that there is also the possibility to enter the secret deck on the private 103rd floor. However, those who are afraid of heights should give it a wide berth. There is only a low railing and a knee-high edge between the viewer and the abyss. As a rule, only selected VIP guests are able to access the breathtaking viewing platform. Now it's your turn. Which of the presented mysteries fascinated you the most? Feel free to write us in the comments, subscribe to Top Welt, and click the bell to never miss one of our videos again. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and we'll see you next time.